Equivalence partitioning testing is also a method of a block box testing which is the technique which is used to derive in a block box testing. When we use the equivalence partitioning is when all possible test cases that we cannot execute or we cannot go and try all combinations. It is not possible. All probable combinations of test cases we cannot go and test with a given limited number of resources availability. So because of that, we will have to select relatively a small number of test cases to actually run. Now we will have to select a subset as we discussed earlier. So we have to split into a multiple equivalence classes. The test data we have to split into multiple equivalence classes and we will have to pick one uh, item from the each classes then our job becomes very easy. Otherwise, it becomes very challenging to execute each and every cases. So, equivalence class represents a set of valid or invalid states for an input conditions. Now, let's take an, an, another example. So, we have different uh, valid cases are there with a different set of data. Again, different set of data is there for invalid uh, cases as well. Now, with this valid and invalid, we cannot go and execute. See, here also valid, uh, we have so many cases are there. Invalid also, we have so many cases. We cannot go and uh, execute uh, so many number of cases. Now, again, what we have to do is, we will have to split these things into further uh, more here. If you can see, right? What we are trying to do here is, uh, we are trying to group now, whatever the groups we have, whatever the groups we have, we will be picking only one item from these groups. If you can see, right, red color circle, the one item we will be picking from each group. That means, in place of executing under test cases, maybe we will be only executing maybe with uh, 5 to 10 cases from the each equivalence class. 